Hi guys, so we're now here at Yankee's Jangi Station. Um, still here in Gimpo, and uh, basically today is gonna be my first official tour of Seoul, Korea, with my sister. Uh, the whole Korea or just South Korea? It's whole Korea. Uh, no, 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 no. The, Metropolitan the, subway. Metropolitan of uh, including the whole Seoul. Yep. Wow. We're going to ride Line 9. Yeah, Line 9. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so as you know, it's been raining here. Uh, over the past few days here in Korea because of the monsoon season so it's just unfortunate it's a bit raining here right now our first stop is what you call this temple? Bonggun Bonggun Sa wow. and that's the mall right there it's Coax we're gonna go there later look at this we've got some lotus here outside of the temple and it's uh, placed into giant uh, pots here with a lot of water look at that amazing Ah, oh, it's just raining so hard right now. It smells nice, Balak. So my water bags. Okay, so what is what is the meaning of all of this? Okay, what which color are you saying? In Korea, there are five traditional colors. So yeah. We have red, um, orange, yellow, green, and uh, blue. White, white, I think. White, uh -huh. and they put it in their food as well, like kimbap, bibimbap. So it's always food. five. Yeah. So lotus is also a symbol in Korea. What about that uh, crane with snake? Um, the crane. Symbolizes uh, their savior. Oh, the even if it's a very filthy area, the lotus, the remains are beautiful. Oh, that's nice. I love yeah. it. 